Can you not mess everything up for two seconds? Yo! Alright. Bro! What's going on guys? It's Dr. Hobbs and as you can see, today we are eating traditional, very authentic Mexican culture. So as you can see from the spot I got it, it's very authentic, very Mexican and um, they snapped. They gave me everything that is very traditional Mexican food and as a Lebanese guy, you know, first of all, I've had, for sure I've had a taco, I had a burrito, but I've never had these authentic vibes food. And if you're wondering where I am, by the way, I'm at David's house and um, I'm about to feast a lot of Mexican stuff. We're gonna, I'm gonna put some stuff on the side, you know, I don't want to distract you guys with all this stuff beautiful food some stuff look really good some stuff look a little scary but we're gonna dig in and if, and if you're enjoying the food vibes and it's december 2nd so please smash the like button on this video and let's keep the holiday spirit up you know we're vibing today we have the first meal of the day it's not a meal the first thing we're gonna try is the traditional mexican nacho chips the tortilla vibes they gave me some sauce for it here's the sauce I don't know what that is. It's some white sauce and it has some black stuff inside. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna try this right now. Here we go. I for sure had, this is what I had. I had this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Of course, everybody had nachos in their life before. Mm. This sauce is amazing though. I don't know what that is. It has some black onions. <laughs> Yo, please. Yo, those are freshly made. They were making it. They had a machine in the back making those stuff. They're warm. When you have a warm tortilla, you know this is good. Mmm. It's actually fire. Okay. I don't wanna, you know, get full by only eating these chips. And last one, only because they're super nice and warm. When you get a bag of tortilla or whatever, when you go to an authentic Mexican spot, Viva la Vida. What, is this Mexican? How do you say it? It's amazing in Mexican. This is mucho bueno. You know, really good. I'm gonna put it on the side right there. Let's dig in with something that you guys probably know what it is. The taco. This is a pork taco. It has onion, the pork obviously, and it's a soft shell taco. I'm gonna spray that lemon or lime on top. And um, we're gonna go ahead and dig in and try it. Usually, I never had tacos like that. The tacos I have, they're full and like they look weird. This is the authentic little taco. And um, she was telling me what type of pork. Oh, there's two, two little shells on top of each other. Is it two? Should I separate them? Maybe not. All right, here's the taco vibe. Super excited to have this. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Is this the spicy like wasabi for like the Mexican stuff? Let me try. I'm putting a little bit. Mmm. Mm. It's definitely spicy. Oh my god. Wow. This taco, definitely one of the best one I've ever tried. Oh, wait. This is not even pork. I'm crunching on something. I don't know what that is. This isn't pork, it's, like, it's hard, listen to this. You know, I don't know what that is, I have no idea. But this tastes amazing. I would literally give this like a 9.8 out of 10. Nothing, not, not one taco I've had before in like those traditional taco spot, you know, we have here in Ottawa. It's better than this one. Mm. I'm always confused about what sauces are called. I have no idea what that green sauce here is called. If you know, please let me down in the comments. Before I go to something I've never tried before, let me go to this. A little DIY kit. It's called soup it. I probably it means soup. Two tops, one that has this stuff in there. Shredded tortilla chips with some cheese curd. Is it like the Mexican poutine probably? And this is some red sauce as you can see. I'm gonna dump it on top and hope for the best. Which tub you dump on top of the other? I have no idea. I'm gonna try this here right here. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, now I get it. So the cheese is gonna melt. It has avocado in it too. Oh my God, it does have avocado. It's a whole avocado. So it has avocado, tortilla chips, cheese curds, and some, what? I have a fork. Yo, try this thing, what is this? I don't know. So let's try this tortilla soup, soup it. Um, some avocado vibe, here we go. Mmm, mmm, is this tomatoes? I think it's tomatoes. But oh my God, this is actually amazing. This is actually so good. Mm, a little messy. Wow, I usually don't really like soup. I don't really eat soup, except French onion soup is my only favorite soup. The only thing I eat by this is, mm, amazing. Well, let's go back to that taco I had. I'm about to do something 
Never done before in Mexican culture. Look at this. I think I might be the smartest food critique. Mm. Sometimes I forget I have a camera rolling and I'm just eating. But this soup is literally amazing. Okay, now we have this thing. It's called a tostada. It's a taco, but with a hard shell, apparently. But it looks exactly the same taco I just had. The lady over there told me it's a tostada. This one apparently has shredded chicken, feta cheese, and lettuce. And a lot of beans. I see the black beans, like a paste of black beans. She told me it's not a taco, it's a tostada, not a taco. So I don't know what's the difference. It looks exactly the same to me. It may be a little bigger and the shed is falling apart, so I'm gonna try this out. Oh my god, it's falling everywhere. Okay, here we go. Mm. Okay, now I understand the little difference. This tostada, this is the shell, it's so like very thin and breaks very easy. Like the whole thing is it's a whole mess now. I have to eat it with a fork. But the problem is you can't grab it to eat it. It falls apart. Look at this. Right, it's too hard to eat this thing. It is the same as the taco though. It literally tastes the same as the taco. I would much rather have the pork taco that I have rather than this thing. Mm. But right now, I'm eating it with the pork. This is really good. But again, messy, which is why I won't get it again. Tostadas, what gonna be just tacos? I don't see the difference other than it's a messy one and it falls apart very easily. Pretty good. Like a. Uh, 8 out of 10. Don't want to boost it too much, you know, it's not nothing really special in it except the chicken. The chicken is so good and the spices they put in there. Now, the next one we have is this thing. I don't know what that is. It doesn't look appetizing whatsoever. It looks like a burnt bun, but it's called sope. Wait, sope mole. This is called sope and what is that called then? What is this thing called? The one that I was just eating. Isn't this the sope? Wait, I need to check this. This one right here, the one, the, the red stuff I was eating, it's called sopa azteca. It is a traditional creamy tomato based soup filled with handmade strips, filled corn tortillas. That's exactly what it was. So that's what that is. This one right here is something completely different. Yeah, it's called Sopi. S-O-P-E-S. -E I don't know what Sopi is. It's fresh handmade corn batter and fried into a platter topped with our reference with beans. Different type of taco again. Look at this. Our Mexican folks over there are trying to renovate their tacos because they've been probably it's been in generation over there. So we're gonna try to take a bite of this. I hate the beans, I don't like black beans or green beans or any type of beans, I don't like that. But we're gonna try it out, here we go. Hey yo! What the heck? This is not good. Oh my god, give me that soup up. As you can see for this vibe right here, not good, there's beef on top. I got the chicken tostadas, pork taco, and this I said, we switch it up, get the beef. But it's not good, I'm just trying to take the dry beef on top, oh my god, this is awful. This is the only thing I don't like so far. I will never order this in my life. You will never see me eating a soap pit ever again. Before we go to the dessert, we have a main meal, which is the most traditional one in Mexico. If you're wondering, it's a burrito, a sour burrito. I've already had a burrito. That's why I don't wanna try it for the first time because I've already had it. It's something new. It's something I've never had before and it looks not the best, it doesn't look great, it looks really okay. I'm gonna show you it right now and um, this is what we are having next. So it looks like crap, it looks like a green spinach crap that has some cheese on top. This is called the enchilada chicken verde. Probably verde mean verde in French, which means green. I'm kinda getting the connection, you know when you speak seven languages, you kinda get stuff. And um, it has three of them, one, two, three, a lot of chicken, but I feel like this chicken is literally like pulled chicken and they just put it in there, it's not like, there's no barbecue sauce. There's some beans with two tortillas sitting on top. Let's try the Mexican rice. It has some uh, chickpeas in there. Not chickpeas. There was this green little ball called... Wasabi. Some wasabi. Some small little green balls. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. It's good, of course. Mmm. The most famous Mexican hot sauce is this one. The Cholula right here. We have some of it left. We're gonna try it. It's the green pepper. Fits perfectly. The chicken verde with the green pepper, chuchula hot sauce. Here we go, jalapeno and poblano. I don't know what that poblano means, but we're gonna add some of this. Here we go, make it a little more spicy and greener. The chuchula sauce, here we go. Stay right here, let's try this vibe. It literally looks like French crepes, but stuffed with chicken. Here we go. Ooh, it is actually not as bad as it looks. Don't judge the books. 
my discover. This is what is this meal, you know, would tell me right away. I thought it was gonna be not great. It doesn't look appetizing whatsoever, but it tastes really good. Mm. I can taste the hot sauce that I just added. Chicken is really good. It's not fried chicken. It's just, you know, the, the white strips of chicken they put it in there. Really good chicken. Oh. Mm. So far, the only thing that I hated is this sopa, sope, sope. All right, now only for the video. Usually I would never do this. I'm gonna take a little piece. Oh my God, have this beans been into a mixer and that's how they look like. I don't know what that, I, I can't, I just really hate the taste of beans. I don't like this. I have to try it because this is Mexican cuisine, Mexican culture. You know, I have to eat everything that has them bob in this. Here we go, beans, literally, those are my favorite. Th first time, I mean, eating those. Here we go. Bring me that sopa, never again. Never seen me eat black beans in my whole life. Chicken very there, really good. I enjoyed it, loved it. Eight out of 10, for sure. It's an eight out of 10, you know, I wouldn't really go out of my way to get it. I would stick with the pork taco. So far, it's the best thing I've ever had is the pork taco and this. This has been saving my life. The red tomato sauce sope. For the last meal of the day, we have dessert. Mexican dessert, and usually they have churros, you know, the long stuff that like you can crunch on it, you eat it at the beach, you eat it anywhere you are. A lot of people had that before. I've had it multiple times. But since I'm trying Mexican cuisine culture, traditional one, for the first time, the lady at the restaurant told me, we got something called flan. It looks really good. It's like a jiggly custard vibe. Maybe it tastes like caramel. I have no idea. I've never had this before. I've never seen something like this before. But put on a plate for you guys to see. No, it's right here. Here you go. You can see it right here. All right, I'm gonna take a little bite. It looks good. It looks very appetizing. See, this looks like something I would enjoy. Let me add some sauce on it. Here we go. Mmm. Wow, this is amazing. Mm. I can eat the whole thing. The thing is, there's a small size and the bigger size. I asked for the small size, and it's already so big, I can no way finish this. I'm just gonna eat a couple bites. Next time I go to a traditional Mexican restaurant, I'm getting pork taco, tomato sopa, and this flan. This would be a perfect combo. I would be happy ever after if I'm eating this. The tostada fell apart, the enchiladas aren't the best, and this uh, soapy, this thing right here, is the worst thing I've ever seen. But the rest is amazing. Mexican culture, food and cuisine is all over the world. You know, everybody for sure has some of this stuff once in their life. It's amazing. I'm so happy I had to try it. You know stuff that I've never had before? As a Lebanese kid, I'm gonna end this right here on a great note with this flan, which is super good. If you never had flan, ask somewhere to get it because it's actually amazing. But with that being said, this is all for me for today. Mexican traditional food. Let me know down in the comment. I'm gonna read every single comment. I need to know what is the next culture. I need to go and hunt all their food and bring it back and have a feast. I need to know what's the next culture. Let me know down in the comments. But for now, this is all. I love you as always. So you're here to smile videos. I'll see you next time. Have a great December month. I love you. Peace.